class of 2021, you may be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Paul Lehman. As head of school and on behalf of the Eastern Mennonite School faculty and staff, it is a true honor to welcome each one of you to this warm and sunny day of hope filled with promise as we celebrate your beloved class of 2021. A few opening announcements. First, water is available in coolers along the side and in the back. Restrooms are located inside uh, to the left of the auditorium or through the doorway under the exterior restroom sign on the building to my left. We also, because of distances, have hired a professional photographer. So each graduate will be given quality photographs with their diploma and together as a class. We will also have a photo gallery available for you on the website before long. Well, here we are, class of 2021. Congratulations on accomplishing this important milestone of high school graduation. Of the school's 103 commencements, last year's drive-in and this year's sweltering bake-in may be among the most remembered. It is so good to be in person with friends and family and many other guests joining us from around the nation and the world through live stream and future recordings. Please join me for an opening invocation. God of all creation, we gather to celebrate the acquisition of knowledge and this rite of passage toward independent adulthood. As we learn and discover new things, we also become aware of how little we truly know and understand about your world. The days of our youth can feel courageous and confidently strong one day and filled with uncertainty, timidity, and fearfulness the next. Life guarantees both great and horrid days. My prayer is not for protection from the elements, but rather for godly friends to stabilize steps when the wind whistles, for mentors and wise elders to consult for direction when the area is foggy, for eyes to look beyond oneself, especially amidst torrents of rain, and for humility of mind and spirit to accept my humanity and your sovereignty. I invite the spirit of Jesus the cornerstone of this school community to be ever present in our words, actions, and lives today and forevermore. Amen. I was touched more than usual when opportunities for co-curricular activities became possible this year. We were starved from the inability to offer activities that many students cherish most, whether it was athletics, drama, or music, each was significantly altered this year. This past Tuesday and Thursday night's commencement concerts, where many of you performed, was no different. You faced the sides, your instruments and mouths were masked, the performers and audience was spaced, but you sounded splendid. I want to take this opportunity to thank all members of the Eastern Mennonite School community for the creative calisthenics you performed to make this year successful. It began at home, parents, where you and students took their own health seriously and sacrificed personal desires for the well-beings of others. Students, you quickly learned the new rules of school and actually modeled a can-do spirit and sense of responsibility in protecting more vulnerable populations. Faculty and staff, you worked tirelessly. Well, okay, that's a very poor word choice because you worked yourself into but through exhaustion. You worked with dedication to create successful systems that served each class and each student you taught. The Eastern Mennonite School community rocks and you proved it this year. Nicholas Jones and Anna Stemple are representing their class as officers this year. 
Both are notable contributors in the classroom and in their co-curricular passions. Nick has shown leadership, courage, and grit on the court and in everything that he does. Anna's kindness, dedication, and grace has carried her far on the stage with music and acting. Following the class officer's remarks, Luca Sakai will then present the senior class gift to the EMS board chair, Jeff Shank, also the father of Ryan. Luca, whose residence is in Michigan, it has been a delight to have you studying at EMS for the past two years. I'm grateful he can be a flame for life like his father, an alum from the class of 1991. This fall, plans are for Nick to attend Stevenson University for studying business and playing basketball. Anna is attending Messiah University to study graphic design. And Luca is attending Kyushu University in Japan. Anna and Nick, please come to the stage, then followed by Luca and Mr. Shank. As Winnie the Pooh once said, how lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. I think it's safe to say that we are all ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives, but what's going to make this transition so difficult is what we're leaving behind. The incredible bonds and friendships we've made with each other. You all are an extraordinary group of people. Whether it be in sports, music, academics, our class has excelled in all we do. The girls' soccer team made it to three state tournaments. The boys' basketball team made it to three state tournaments and two championship games. Girls' volleyball went to the state semifinals last year and had an undefeated season. Girls' cross country placed second in conference in 2019 and had two runners with with top 20 finishes in states. Boys tennis making it to a state tournament bid and varsity track and field make, made it to the state meet. One athlete who broke two records in both hurdle events and named Blue Ridge Conference Player of the Year and Vista State Runner of the Meet. And we can't forget the baseball team who made it to the playoffs without winning one game. <laughs> Several of our class members have uh, made it to all state choir, district band, and regional orchestra. And many of our classmates persisted in every musical, whether as an actor, crew member, or in the pit orchestra, orchestra. We've had National Merit Scholars, several Honor Scholars Awards, and majority of the class in NHS, and many honor roll students. The passion, perseverance, and flexibility that our class has exemplified is admirable and inspiring. The continued effort and determination we've put into hanging out together, even during a pandemic, playing sports, acting in a musical, playing in orchestra, singing in a choir, and putting in hours of community service work is incredible. We persevere and go through each day with positivity. We look at the good, as Mr. Jared Stutzman has taught us sharing so much laughter and fun times with one another. We make the absolute most out of literally nothing, like watching 20 minutes of a low-budget budget Ugandan movie on the last day of school during fourth block. We formed stronger bonds with each other even when we've only had like two class bonding activities. I'm so proud to call you all my classmates, and more importantly, my friends. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're lucky that saying goodbye is so hard to, um, saying goodbye to each other is so hard.
So, the senior class is presenting the school with money to pay for landscaping and a plaque, which will combine with the 2020 gift of outdoor furniture, creating an outdoor recognition site to commemorate the EMS community's journey through the COVID-19 pandemic. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I would like to thank you and uh, the class of 2021 for this gift. I'm sure uh, it will be something that uh, students for years to come will use, and I hope you come back and use it as alumni as well. Thanks again. Speaking on behalf of their class because of their academic achievements are Maggie Fairfield and Emma Myers. Both have challenged themselves to many of EMS's most rigorous courses while also participating in key roles in co-curricular activities. Thank you each for demonstrating incredible discipline, hard work, and leadership that has inspired all of us watching from the sidelines. Maggie plans to pursue her interest in pre-medicine by attending Smith College, and Emma has chosen George Washington University this fall to study political communications. You may both come to the stage at this time, and thank you for re preparing your remarks for this special day. Congratulations, Easter Mennonite Class of 2021. We did it. Today we get to stand here in the company of our closest friends, our loving families, and an amazing faculty and staff, all of whom care so deeply about us. It seems crazy that we have arrived here so quickly, and sometimes I still feel like a terrified little seventh grader on my first day of school here. But we have not only made it to graduation, we have excelled in everything we have done at EMHS. We faced some hard things like Mr. Carini's 10-page tests and Mrs. Cranston re Cranston's reading checks, but we've also had memorable experiences, like breaking tables in the commons or not being able to get through a school function without someone getting injured. Our class has gotten to travel to so many different places, from D.C. to Nashville to Philadelphia, and some of us even went to the West Coast and back again. All of these trips have allowed us to be closer as a class and experience things that we probably wouldn't have at any other school. My personal favorite was the Nats game on senior trip, standing in the pouring rain, watching a man streak across the field. Memories like these are the ones that I am going to be most thankful for. <laughs> Walking across the stage today are some of EMHS's best and brightest. From incredible athletes bringing home state titles, to leads of music musicals like Les Mis and Into the Woods, to all state choir singers, our impact on this school is immeasurable. We have played every school sport the school has to offer, started some new teams, joined and led clubs like Model United Nations, Bio Club, Windsock, Robotics, We Serve, played for band and strings, and generally been a nuisance around the school. Our class has done so much during our time here, so I don't think I'm too biased in saying that we're the best, even if we've never won in beach day kickball. <laughs> our legacy at this school will never fade, even as we leave. However, this school's impact on us should not be forgotten. Thanks to the teachers and administrators at this school, we get to walk through these doors with not only an amazing education, but also a knowledge of how to love deeply and to care about everyone we come in contact with. These are skills that will take us farther in life than anything we could have learned in the classroom. EMS has taught us how to go out into the world as good people who will serve and put others above ourselves. This mindset of service will allow each member of our class to leave an impact on the world, whether it be small or large. The word commencement originally comes from Latin, and it means to initiate or to begin together. This is the day of the beginning of the rest of our lives, and we get to start it together. Our class has been through a lot, not just with the global pandemic, but we have come out on the other side with more empathy, flexibility, and joy. 
We couldn't have succeeded the way we did, however, without the support of everyone that is here today. I want to thank the EMS faculty for everything they have done, especially this year, not only for teaching us, but letting us do weird things like bring instruments into your classes to play or act out the fights in Shakespeare plays. I also want to thank our parents for sacrificing so much so that we could attend this school and then spending countless money and hours to give us extra experiences on top of it. We wouldn't be graduating if it wasn't for you. Looking out today, I see so much talent and drive for success in this class, and I know how well it will serve us going forward. This class has such a love for learning, and I've seen how extra we will get with most assignments, especially if there's some sort of competition. This class will have doctors, nurses, sports commentators, engineers, activists, graphic designers, accountants, business executives, politicians, and I really wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with a millionaire or two. This place has taught me so much about friendship, loyalty, love, but most importantly, it's taught me that the best things in life, the very best things, happen unexpectedly. The best memories made in the school have happened in moments and with people I would have never expected, but that is the great thing about EMHS. This entire class has become like a family, and that's something only a loving community like this one can provide. I mean, we just spent the last week and a half hiding a folding chair around Harrisonburg and then racing each other to find it. <laughs> I can confidently say that this class has connected in ways that I could have never imagined. And even as we graduate and scatter across the country, I know that we will all have a place to come back to, to make more unexpected memories. As we go forward into the world, I know that we will all do great and amazing things, but we will never lose the immense impact this place has had on not only our minds, but also our hearts. Thank you, Emma. Thank you all so much again for making the time to be here, even in this weather. It is my honor to speak today to all of you, but I'd like to recognize that so many other amazing students are sitting in front of me. Congratulations again to the entire class of 2021. This year has been incredibly hard and unpredictable for everyone, and the fact that we are all here graduating today is beyond amazing and impressive. This class has had to be resilient and go with the flow in ways that no class has had to before, and I believe that that will serve us very well in all of our future endeavors. The next chapter of our lives is starting. Some of us are going to college. Others are going into a profession or taking a gap year to serve or travel. Regardless of wherever you are going next, it's a big change. A lot of us have been here in this school for a significant portion of our lifetime, and taking this next step may be intimidating. However, based on how we've managed through this year, I am confident that we are all going to do just fine. While we are about to take the next step, let's not forget all the good memories we have made here together. Let's not forget all of the Explore Weeks and E-Terms, the field trips and science fair projects, the beach days and pizza parties. This is the end of an era, so make sure to take the proper amount of time to remember and appreciate the times we've had. As we prepare to leave this place we all know and love, it's time to get out of our comfort zones. I encourage each and every one of you to try something new in this next chapter of your life. This is the time to figure out who you are in a new environment, away from whatever box you've been placed in so far in life. This is your chance to experiment, to try out a new version of yourself and see what you like. Take different classes, play a new sport, try out a new game or travel to a new place. Wear different clothes or listen to different music. If you're not happy where you are at, know that it is okay to change. Don't just stay content if you know you'd be happier with something different. This is also a big chance to better educate ourselves about the world around us. Some of us have been here for a significant portion of our lives, surrounded by similar-minded and similar-looking people. Others joined the class more recently. Regardless of when you came to EMS, a lot of us have had similar experiences. We haven't had a lot of exposure to the experiences and opinions of others. I'd like to take a moment to specifically recognize and mourn the 215 indigenous children who were recently found in a mass grave at the Kamloops Indian Residential School in Canada. 
It was important for me to recognize that something like that would probably never happen to someone like me. It took me a long time to realize just how privileged I am. I'm not saying that having a good house and the opportunity to attend a private school is a bad thing, but we all need to recognize what we have and be aware of what happens in the rest of the world. Adults always like to say how different the real world is, and often we roll our eyes and claim that they are exaggerating. The rest of the world around us is, however, different, just like they say. As you head to new places, be opening to listening to others. Be open to hearing other people's stories and experiences. Learn from others and know that it is okay to change your mind when faced with new information. That's what learning is all about, isn't it? When you are in college or in a workplace, there are going to be people from all different backgrounds. Use this opportunity to expand your knowledge of the world around you and your knowledge of yourself and who you want to be. Learn from others, learn from your mistakes, learn from your successes, learn, learn, learn. Learning should be a lifelong experience. We were told as kids that we could be anything we wanted to be, a doctor, an astronaut, a teacher, a farmer. And yet, all throughout middle and high school, we have been confined by the vision others already have of us and by the environment and experiences of our life so far. Take this fresh start, experiment, learn, and be who you want to be. I hope that every one of you will continue to grow and learn. I wish you all the best experience possible as you move forward, and I hope we'll all keep in touch. I look forward to seeing who you all become. I want to thank Nick and Anna for describing your classes so well. Um, Luca and uh, class of 2021 for that creative gift that I think will live on for many years and is so iconic of your last year and a half here. And Emma for, again, your description of the class, it's just so fitting. Perhaps that folding chair that's around Harrisonburg somewhere should be part of your landscape gift and um, Maggie for the challenge that you left uh, for your class. Thank you all. It's a real privilege for me to introduce Mayor Dina Reed, who was sworn into office for the Harrisonburg City Council on January 3rd, 2017, and then selected by her fellow council me members to serve as mayor. Becoming mayor of Harrisonburg made her the first African-American female mayor in Harrisonburg's history. And although this is her first public office, she is no stranger to Harrisonburg and its people. Mayor Reed is a native of the city and is a proven leader, impacting lives of all ages. Mayor Reed currently serves as the Director of Community and School Partnerships for On the Road Collaborative, a nonprofit youth empowerment organization that serves more than 300 middle and high school students uh, and youth every year. On the Road Collaborative helps to set students on the road toward high school, college, and successful careers. Beyond her leadership and achievements serving the youth, Mayor Reed has a Bachelor's of Education degree from Liberty University. She is a member of Word Ministries Christian Outreach Church. She has served as a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority for over 32 years and serves on the advisory team for Iota Alpha chapter of James Madison University. Recently, Mayor Reed was recognized by the Virginia Library of Congress as one of the strong men and strong women of Virginia history. She was featured in Essence Magazine on the top 100 woke list, and she was recognized by Harrisonburg Rockingham County Commonwealth, Commonwealth Attorney Marcia Garst as Citizen of the Year in 2015. Mayor Reed continues to hold numerous offices within several communities. She serves as the Vice Chair of the Virginia Municipal League Legislative Committee and the Vice President of the Virginia Transit Association. 
She currently serves on the Board of Trustees for Eastern Mennonite University, the Advisory Board for Civic Engagement, and the Racial Equity Task Force for James Madison University, the Social Services Advisory Board, and the Parks and Recreation Commission. She is an honorary member of the American Association of University Women. Mayor Reed remains passionate in her work to enrich the lives of youth in her community. And I am delighted, and we should feel honored, that she, in her busy schedule, has taken time for us. So welcome to our inspirational mayor of Harrisonburg, Dina Reed, to the stage to give our seniors one final high school lesson on life. Thank you, Mayor Reed, for accepting this invitation. Thank you so much. So I found out there was a folding chair going around Harrisonburg. Thank you. <laughs> Where did you find it? Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, um, I really don't know how much more I can say after Emma and Margaret. They did a phenomenal job. Let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. You took half my speech, but that's okay. <laughs> you did an incredible job. Uh, I also want to fir first thank uh, Dr. Lehman and my Eastern Mennonite School family. I consider you family uh, for inviting me to share some words with you on this very special day. I promise you I'm not going to be long. I do not like to sit through long speeches. So you got about eight minutes of me. That should be enough for you. Hi, is that good? Thumbs up? Yeah, that's going to be good. To the phenomenal faculty and staff who pushed and inspired your students, I say to you congratulations, great work on getting them to the finish line. Graduates, we must take time to acknowledge and show love to all of the parents, guardians, grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, godparents, and mentors who have been there for you throughout this journey. Let's give them a round of applause. Now I'm talking about the folks who sacrificed for you and loved you even when you drove them crazy, and I know there was times you did that. Today is their day. In fact, today, it's probably more their day than yours. And finally, congratulations to the class of 2021. You did it. Yes, congratulations. You did it. You have arrived here in the middle of a global pandemic, and you still made it. I know you may not feel like it, but you are indeed the chosen class for such a time as this. We are so proud of you. As your mayor, I am grateful to be here celebrating with you and your families. You have achieved so much in a way that no one could have imagined. I am inspired by you. But I'm not surprised because I know the moral values and integrity instilled in you here at EMS. This is your time, your moment. This has been a tough year for you. It is important that we acknowledge that. And I'm sure none of you thought your senior year would involve evolved in the middle of a pandemic. But I believe, no, I know, that God makes no mistakes. Deuteronomy 31.6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified 
because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. This scripture speaks to all of us, especially to you. I love this scripture. This scripture keeps me grounded. Graduates, these are difficult times, and it can feel scary. You are starting a new chapter in your life. We don't know what is coming, and for the past year and, ha and half, we have lived through uncertainties and have felt cut off from one another and everything familiar. But this scripture reminds us that the Lord goes before you. God will be with you. God will not fail or forsake you. You don't need to fear. So be strong and courageous. You were chosen to have this high school experience. And because of your resilience, your perseverance, your tenacity, you succeeded. Graduates, today is both an end and a beginning, a celebration of accomplishments that have changed your lives, and a celebration of future accomplishments that would change the lives of others and make our world a better place. It is also a celebration of your greatness because every one of you will be great if you choose to do so. That's not asking too much now, is it, for you to be the greatest you that you can be. I'm not saying there won't be roadblocks and hurdles you have to jump because there will be, but it all starts with one single decision and only one person can make that decision and that is you. So I'm so excited for you because I know, as Margaret and Emma said, I am looking at future doctors and lawyers, pastors, nurses, entrepreneurs, teachers, you name it. I might be looking at a future mayor. So I am challenging you today to do the following as you start your new chapter in life. Do not let anyone stand in your way by telling you what you can or cannot or should or should not do. Because life is too precious to waste on not being great. So be great. Use your voice. Use it to create more equity, more justice, and more joy in the world. Go for whatever your dreams are. Don't be afraid to dream big and don't be afraid to fail. If you fail, and I know you've all heard this, then fail forward. Every failed experience is one step closer to success. Set goals every day. No matter how small they are, how big, Set your goals and set your mind to achieve them. Stay focused. Focus on one thing and stick with it. No matter how many people tell you no or tell you it will not work, don't stop believing. Hard work pays off. Working really hard is what successful people do. Continue to strive. Anything you want, you can have. All you have to do is work hard to get it. Find something you are passionate about. This will give you a sense of purpose and you will have a life of happiness. Have an open heart and a curious mind and miracles will happen. Use your life to make a difference in your community. Use your life to make a difference to someone else. 
keep moving, keep growing, and keep learning. Plant your seed in the ground and believe that anything you want is possible. Today, today, you have set yourself up for success. So go out and make a bold new world. One EMHS graduate at a time. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Reed. It's nice to be inspired myself, even after how many years of my high school graduation, and thinking about each new day, especially after this long year. Seniors, this time of academic recognition is one piece of your entire time at EMS. In your journey together, whether long or short, you have survived together a multitude of challenges, personal and corporate, local and global. You have spurred each other on, academically and spiritually, whether in the classroom, courts, or playing fields, or on the stage. You have honed your skills, including the ability to think critically and deeply, to ponder the big picture, and to pay attention to small details. While you will never forget the circumstances of the final years of your high school, I also hope that you remember the many rich and formative experiences you've had in the entirety of your time here. The class of 21, 2021 plans in the coming year to work, to serve, and attend a variety of institutions, including the following. Blue Ridge Community College, Bridgewater College, Brigham Young University, Idaho, Christopher Newport University, College of William and Mary, Eastern Mennonite University, Franklin and Marshall, George Washington University, Heston College, Johns Hopkins University, Kushu University, Mary Baldwin University, Messiah University, Old Dominion University, Radford University, Rosedale Bible College, Smith College, Stevenson University, University of Colorado Boulder, University of Mary Washington, University of Maryland, Baltimore County, University of San Francisco, University of South Carolina, University of Tennessee. One of our graduates will participate in service adventure in New Mexico. Seven of our graduates will bravely embark into adult life right away by working and exploring their future. We have been blessed to walk alongside you seniors during this time and wish you the peace of Christ as you leave us today. 47 seniors will graduate this weekend. 33 of them have earned a 3.5 grade point average or above, qualifying them for honors recognition, a level of academic excellence that, consist, that required consistent dedication in all of their high school coursework. Of the 33, seven seniors earned between 3.5 and 3.749, 10 earned between 3.75 and 3.99, and 16 earned a 4.0 or higher. To achieve such honors, these students needed to choose throughout their high school career to pursue the most rigorous courses that EMS has to offer, and for a number of them to complete that coursework at the honors or university level. A number of seniors, as noted in the program, earn an honor scholar award by completing specific criteria set by the academic departments, and a number of them earn two or more awards. Clearly, this class has demonstrated academic excellence throughout their time at EMS. First, I will recognize those students graduating cum laude with honors. In grades 9 through 12, actually 8 through 12, uh, these students earned a grade point average between 3.5 and 3.749. I will name all these students uh, alphabetically, not in order of rank. Each student should stand when your name is called and remain standing until all graduating cum laude are identified. Audience, please hold your attendance until all are standing. Gage Anderson. Shay Beckler, Luke Hoyard, Josiah Roth, Elijah Spiker, Shayna Stutzman, 
Aiden Weaver. Congratulations to you. In the second honor category are those students graduating magna cum laude with high honors. These students each earned grade point averages between 3.75 and 3.99. Again, I will recognize them alphabetically. Please hold your applause until all are standing. Simon Beach. Adrian Klein. Melody Flanders. Sam Groff. Eli Hess. Liam Hughes. Alexi Humanak, Harriet King, Josh Powell, Ryan Shank. Congratulations. <laughs> the final honor category recognizes those students graduating summa cum laude with highest honors. These students each earned a grade point average of 4.0 or above which is possible to do so because of honors, AP, and university courses that receive a weighted grade. P again, please hold your applause until all are standing. Gabe Albers. Ryan Brunk. Natalie Clark. Maggie Fairfield. Garrett Gregory. Arwen Hertzler. Carla Hostetter, Riley Hutchison, Rahel Lema, Haley Mast, Emma Myers, Anna Stemple, Adam Stolzfus, Leighton Stutzman, Anna Teason, Jenna Weaver. Congratulations. Our final awards are those of valedictorian and salutatorian. These designations demonstrate the steadfast commitment early on to academic excellence, which is one part of our school mission. Please join me in congratulating our salutatorian for the class of 2021, Riley Hutchison. Let me come forward. <laughs> this year, we are pleased to recognize two persons whose GPA were tied to the one thousandths a whisper <laughs> of a difference. Valedictorians for the class of 2021 are Maggie Fairfield and Emma Myers. Congratulations, please come forward. Well, congratulations, class, on your amazing academic accomplishments. And now for the time that we've been waiting for, the awarding of diplomas. We are EMS family. Each one of these soon-to-be graduates is one of your own family in many ways. So as part of awarding diplomas, being outside, it's really time to celebrate. And so we ask all of you, every one of you to so celebrate and applaud robustly for each and every graduate today. Senior class advisor, Mrs. Hertzler, Mrs. Jody Hertzler, director of academics, Mrs. Patsy Seitz, and the high school principal, Mr. Justin King, will now award diplomas in the order listed in the back of your program. 
And will the first row of graduating seniors please rise and take your position. Gabriel Martin Albers. Yeah. Anna Elizabeth Aldifer. Gage Victor Anderson. Simon Grove Beach. Jay Taylor Beckler. Ryan David Brunk. Sean Anton Cardoza, Jr. <laughs> Natalie May Clark. Adrian Elise Klein. Rebecca Elizabeth Campagnari. Isaac Benjamin Devers. Levi Franklin Emsweiler. <laughs> Margaret Ellen Fairfield. Melody Danielle Flanders. <laughs> Emily Rochelle Garcia. <laughs> Madison Cherie Garcia. Garrett Nathaniel Gregory. Go, 
Samuel Moyer Groff. Arwen Claire Hertzler. Elijah David Kennedy Hess. William Cole Hess. Carla Grace Hostetter. <laughs> Sophia Ann Thomas Howard. <laughs> William Kenneth Hughes. Oleksii Humenyuk. <laughs> Riley Solon Hutchison. Miller Hoyard. Nicholas Leonard Jones. Harriet Elise King. Rahel Monet Lemma. <laughs> Haley Lauren Mast. Christian J. McDonald. <laughs> Emma Grace Ann Myers. Joshua William Powell. <laughs> Josiah Clarence Rop. Luca Sakai. Angelina Semenev. Taras Semenev. Ryan Carl Shank.
Elijah Gabriel Spiker. Anna Noy Stemple. Adam Michael Stoltzfus. Leighton Stutzman. Shana Marie Stutzman. Anna Hershey Teason. Aiden Matthew Weaver. Jenna Nicole Weaver. All right, in case you're wondering what all these things we're handing Mr. King are, they're basically, you know, gifts or gag gifts for the four teachers that are leaving us this year, and that would be Mr. Yoder, Mr. Kurt Stutzman, Mrs. Hershey Hare, and Mr. Seibert. Thank you, class, once again for your uh, creativity. It will be interesting seeing how those gifts get divided up among those four. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things up here. Will the class of 2021 please stand? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of Eastern Mennonite School and in accordance with the standards established by the Virginia Association of Independent Schools and the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now confer upon you the right and privilege to have earned and received this high school diploma. I invite you to turn and face the audience and then together move your tassels from right to left, symbolizing your commencement to new experiences, new opportunities, new responsibilities, and enjoy now our celebrations of you, the class of 2021. We are going to take a few moments now for some photography uh, opportunities. So if you're to sit, please sit. If you're to stand, stand. Graduates, uh, the photographs of the class are taken professionally by Tiffany Showalter and will be provided for every family so you can simply uh, watch and celebrate. Following the photographs, Adrian Klein will read the class scripture, and Arwen Hertzler will lead the class in singing their song, Jesus Stand Among Us. So please take a few moments for these photographs. And Adrian, you can come forward to lead in the scripture. Thank you. 
Our class has chosen Romans 8, 38 through 39 as our class scripture. For I'm convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. May you, class of 2021, bless the Lord your God. May you bless your neighbor. And may you, alumni of Eastern Mennonite High School, be the heart of God wherever you go. Finally, graduates, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about and do such things. At this time, I invite Mr. Michael Weaver, board member and father of Jenna, to the stage for our prayer of blessing. And faculty and staff, you may now move to surround our graduates as part of this blessing. Following the prayer of blessing, you are dismissed. Thank you, Paul, and I add my congratulations to the class of 2021 as well. Let us pray together. Gracious God, thank you for these magnificent graduates. May they be grateful for the special friendships and memories and grateful for the teachers, coaches, family, and support systems that have given them opportunity. For in giving thanks, you tell us, we will find two, true joy and happiness. Each of these young people are at the pr pinnacle of their high school career and at the doorway of new adventures. Lord God, help each of them to be builders creators, and unifiers, for they are each a masterpiece of your creation. We pray your strength and guidance upon them. As Jesus healed the soldier's ear in the garden, showing a different path of peace, may each graduate be a positive force for your kingdom showing the love of God in our divided world. Lord, we bless them, and we ask you to bless them. Yahweh, we pray that each graduate would live and act in your will that brings life everlasting. We are grateful for the cloud of witnesses who have supported this school and each of today's graduates. We believe, Lord, that you too are cheering them on for their achievement today 
cheering and encouraging them through your spirit for endurance in the race ahead. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you.